Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here with another video for you. Um, I decided to try to use up some of my outgoing DSP. And so I decided to use some of the Fresh as a Daisy and uh, came up with a couple cards. And so today we're going to be making a couple more. Um, I have done this video somewhat quickly. I'm trying to get some shorter videos made so I can kind of get ahead because I'm really behind on doing my videos. So uh, I've got all of my prepping done. So it's going to be pretty quick, but it is a little bit of a tutorial. Um, so the first cards I made, this is a, a design that I did uh, a few months back. Very basic card, very simple. Um, and so I came up with two designs. And so I decided to do the Fresh as a Daisy in these designs. All right, so what we have here is um, Pretty Peacock, Fresh as a Daisy uh, DSP for both of these layers, and then a little sentiment, and on the inside, wishing you everything wonderful. And the same thing here, uh, but this is Crushed Curry, and Fresh as a Daisy for these two DSPs, and then the sentiment, and it's the same on the inside. So that is what I did for these. So the the ones I'm going to use today is, I'm going to use this paper here um, to make it a little different. So we're going to make two different cards. They're going to be the same thing, except for just the different designs of the Fresh as a Daisy. So these are going to be a little prettier, I think. So we are going to use Moody Mauve, which is um, a five and a half by eight and a half card base scored and folded at four and a quarter as usual. And we're going to use wild wheat, same thing, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and uh, folded at four and a quarter. We're gonna use, um, this is fresh as a daisy here. I'm gonna use um, both of these, um, one side of, um, one side and the other side. So this one is uh, cut with the, um, Deckled rectangle dies. Okay, these are still a current product, and I use the largest die in here to cut this out. So, before you cut it, it needs to be approximately four by five and a quarter, and you cut it with the deckle die, and that's going to go on here. And then the flip side of that, um, I cut this with the contour die, and these dies are currently 30% off. Color and Contour stamp set is now sold out, but the dies are still available. And if you follow my channel, you know how much I love these dies. So this is the one I used. Um, oh, no, not that one. This one right here. Okay. And then I also used this one for the sentiment. Okay. I've got all of that done. So that is what I did for this. It needs to start out at about three and a half by four and three quarters for this die. Okay. So this is what we need for this card. And then our sentiment, um, we need the little scraps of white for our sentiments. And I have already done this, so I've already got my, um, my happy birthday for that. And so for this one, we need a piece of Fresh of the Daisy that is about two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And you're going to use the edge die on here this time. And I forgot to put it back. Uh oh oh yeah okay so it's laying right here this is the die that I used for this so you just line that right up along the edge of the paper um, just like this and just make sure that it's centered you line it clear up to the edge and run it through and that's how you get your little scalloped edge here all right I'm gonna put this back now and then underneath that edge, we need another piece of Fresh as a Daisy. This is the one with the um, cutouts on the side. Um, not cutouts, but let me just show you this sheet. It has all of these, I call them cutouts because you can cut them out and use all the different scenes here. So that's what it is. It's the back of this, which is the Moody Mauve. Okay, and this piece measures one and three quarters by five and a quarter, and that's just going to be layered right underneath like that, okay? 
And then here's my scalloped um, edge here. And the happy birthday comes from GoTo Greetings, which is retiring. So this is still available for the next couple weeks until it sells out. Okay. Um, Charming Sentiments is what I used for the inside. And this is already sold out, unfortunately. So you can't get this greeting anymore. So hopefully if you wanted to make these cards and you like that, you already have it in your stash. Okay, so now all we need to do is get started. I also used the Moody Mauve ink, and that is it. That's all we need. Okay, so let's do this one first here. This is so simple. It's just so easy to do. And you know what I forgot? My um, I had my white my white um, centers already stamped and they're missing. Let me see one second here. Let's see if I put them with another set of cards. Uh oh, all right, well, I had them done and stamped and I'm not sure why they're not with my cards. It always happens. Oh, well, if you follow my channel, you're used to me um, misplacing things. I don't know what happened to them. I had everything done. I had the center stamped um, and everything. So we just will not put the centers in. Um, you know what the center says. It's the same exact thing as this, except for it's stamped in Moody Mauve. So, so we're just going to take this and we're going to put it on here. I'm going to center that. Then we're going to center this on top of that. And then we're going to put our uh, little greeting on, just like that. And the other thing I didn't get out was my dimensionals. We're going to need that too. So I'm just going to put some glue on these. Put that right in the middle. There we go. One thing that's nice about the glue is that you can lift it up if you're quick enough. Get that moved better than the tear and tape. That is really hard to move once you get that down. Make sure your daisies are going straight up and down and not uh, upside down. I'm not really sure which way. I guess that goes this way. All right, there's that one. And then all I need is a few little dimensionals on the back of this. It's a lot less than I normally do, but. And then we're going to put that right along here. Yeah, maybe put that up just a little bit higher than that. There we go. So there's our first card minus the inside. Okay. Sorry about that. I still don't know what happened to it, but I'll find it as soon as I get done and I'll fix it later. So, all right. So this one is a little bit trickier because what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is um, put on here so that it is centered. You can um, in the past, I have actually put these together with my grid so that they're, I know that it's four inches and you can do it that way. Or um, all you have to do is just put this around so that you know it's even all the way around and then just layer this on top like that. Okay, so that is what I'm going to try to do this time and see if that works. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little glue here first. I'll line this up because I wanna make sure that I have my edges even. I don't want that to be crooked. All right, I think that does it. Okay. And then just put glue all the way around. All right. 
very, very simple cards. And you could do this with any of your DSP and um, use that up if you like to just get it used up. I don't typically do that, um, but I'm trying to use some of it anyway. Um, I'm probably going to have a lot left because I just don't get around to using all of my DSP that I buy. But that's just you know, such as it is, as my mama used to say. So this is going to go up here, about like there. There we go. And so there's our second card. I'd still like to know what happened to my insides. They're here somewhere, but um, I'm just going to look. Mm -hmm. Stand up a second. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Anyway, so that is my video for today. I know it's kind of a quick one. Um, that's what I'm trying to go for um, so that I can get ahead because my husband and I are going on a couple trips in the next uh, six weeks. And so I need to get my videos made ahead of time. And that's what I normally do anyway. Um, but uh, I've just gotten behind. So anyway, so here's our first design here. All right, and then our second design. So I hope that you like these video, uh, these cards, and that you enjoyed this. And uh, that is it for this week. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Bye-bye.